Oh, I say. It appears that Honey Badger doesn't give a shit. <laughs> What is up guys, this is Honey Badger, and this is my first video on this new channel, but it's not my first video on YouTube, but I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, yeah, uh, it's currently 2 o'clock in the morning in Britain where I live, and I thought, hey, I might as well start a uh, Minecraft modded Let's Play. And just for clarification, this isn't uh, Feed the Beast, this is custom mods. Uh, this is like a custom mod pack that I have made myself and I, I should start gathering resources while I babble on. But uh, yeah, this is a custom Minecraft mod pack that I, I have been creating and testing for the past two days. Oh, really bad lag spikes. I guess the world's still loading and the fact that my computer is shitty anyway. But yeah, uh uh, I should get. I should talk about the mods that are installed on this. Uh, I'm obviously using the Forge API because it was a. It's a far more powerful uh, mod loading tool than Mod Loader. No offense, Rizugami, but it's true. Lots of mods nowadays use Forge as their go-to uh, API. And uh, in those mods, I am using uh, Tinker's Construct, which is a fantastic mod and this is basically it was the first mod that I downloaded after watching Die Wolf 20's uh, mod review on it and it is a fantastic mod it, it adds so much more to crafting instead of just crafting one stone pick you can craft one pick that you can keep for your entire life and constantly upgrade so uh, that's by M Dio. Uh I'll put a link to his mod in the description as will I do with all of the other mods in this mod pack. Uh, the other mod, uh, the other mods rather, are Miscraft by XCompWiz I think and Thermal Expansion also Ender Storage and then you've got all like the stuff that increases your uh, playability like Optify and I've also got Ray's Minimap, uh, NEI inventory tweaks because I do like uh, cleaning my inventory and uh, I've done I've done mod let's plays like this before and it was quite well received but it was when I was new to making mod minecrafts and it was before feed the beast came out so there, there was config files everywhere and I really did not get it so when I tried putting down a buildcraft pipe which I don't have in this mod pack yet uh, it, it it corrupted my world and I I was just like well I don't want to play this anymore. But yeah, hopefully I'll release about one or two of these a week. And I am new to this whole modding scene. I've I've tried creating a few mods myself using Mod Loader. Just just little funny side projects when I was bored. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so first thing I've got to do is, to be honest, I need food because I did generate this world before I started talking. So I really need uh, something to eat. So I need to find some pigs or some cows. It's a generally nice world. There's a lava pit over there somewhere, as you can see on the map. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about Tinker's Construct. It's a fantastic mod, and I, I I do love it. And I've only played with it for like two two days, and it's just fantastic. I did have another world behind this, so there's, there's some uh, copper over there. Chickens galore! I suppose I best make a uh, sword. Bam, boom. Time to get me some chicken meat. Hell yeah. Uh, and yeah, Tink's Construct. This, this, uh. I'm gonna talk more about the mods as well. Uh, the reason why I don't have all the other mods, like uh, Build Craft, uh, Industrial Craft, Thorn Craft, Craft Everything, 
is uh, simply because they haven't been updated to 1.51 yet but when they do I will be adding them to this mod pack and if you do want the downloads I will uh, put these in a raw and I will of course credit all of the uh, mod creators because it, uh, this uh, let's play wouldn't be possible without uh, those modders so yeah oh and we found ourselves a village this is and I've just dropped my book and this 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 book comes with a uh, tinkers craft and it's it's really useful it's any eye when you're doing tinkers craft uh, whoa, 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 you can't actually get the recipes for them oh no oh <laughs> looks like I forgot to turn myself off uh Uh, that's that's embarrassing. Uh, how do I delete stuff? Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll dig a hole over here. Chuck them down there. Uh, nope. No, I completely forgot that I had to do this. So let's go into recipe mode. And let's cover this hole up. Because I, I don't want. I'm 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 not going to cheat on this let's play because it just saps the fun out of learning the mods yeah anyway like I was saying uh, buildcraft uh, zycraft as well I'm really interested in zycraft as well uh, I in in all them mods I will add them when they are updated to 1.51 so far these are the only mods that I've found that I like that are updated to 1.51 I may add mo creatures but I've never really been a big fan of that type of uh, mod stuff that oh, I'm lagging badly mod mods that add a, like a load of like random creatures that can deal stupid amounts of damage and whatnot and uh for a page so he must be a miscraft ah I just I just rubbed on your pages mate cheers for that uh, I've never used miscraft either so I have no idea what these are so I'm gonna rob one of these oh, oh uh, a writing desk right oh and it's getting dark right, I'm gonna get me some wheat so this looks like a very close-knit community and I'm going to uh, I'll probably kill them all because I can do that. Let's let's get in here. Oh, and before I forget about it, I'm going to change my difficulty to hard because uh, I, I I can just do that. Um, I'm a hard nut. Sorry, sorry guys. Had to be done. But yeah, I will. Ah, oh, god damn it! I need some more food. Uh, come on. But yeah, I am. I am excited to use Zycraft as well, partly because the fact that you can turn anything into a tank, and I do quite like using liquids in these mods. I won't be using bees they've, or forestry. They've they've never really. Never. They've never really turned me on as much as industrial craft and build craft and all this stuff and I don't mean turned on sexually I mean whatever just shut up but yeah I've, I've never really been a big fan of that I'd, bees they do seem quite powerful they do seem quite cool and everything but I just haven't got the patience to just sit there and watch bees just mate and so so I won't be adding forestry which means I won't be adding thorncraft bees or whatever but like, once again I will be adding thorncraft and I will be using oh lordy no oh no 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 I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead come on <laughs> oh I need to get a furnace quickly That was close, and I really need to. I'm gonna. T I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna turn my brightness so you guys can see what I'm actually doing when I haven't got torches. 
Yeah, uh, this will run for as long as I see fit, as long as I want to run it. And it will be getting constantly updated when every mod uh, does get updated as well. And I'll try to get myself into some of the beta builds as well. Uh, I've got nine cobblestone, that's good, that's good. Uh, I haven't used much of the other mods, I have literally just installed Miscraft, I completely forgot that it existed. Yeah, I completely forgot that it existed and I only... I was only turned on to it when I was watching uh, Funky Monkey or Funke Monkey on YouTube just now. And I thought like, it, it seems like a pretty decent mod. So I'll add that to this pack. Uh, thermal expansion, I've never used it. Ender storage, once again, I've never used it. I've never played Minecraft long enough to use ender chests and whatnot. It just... Although I love the game, I've... What are you doing down there? Get out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack you one. Dude, flee. Flee, andale. Arriba, arriba. Yeah, as much as I love playing Minecraft, I've only... <laughs> on my private server that I, I run with a friend, We've only just defeated the end dragon, the ender dragon, and that's the first ever time I have ever faced the ender dragon. It's the first ever time I've ever been in the end. Uh, full stop. Uh, oh my god, there's a skeleton riding a slime. No slimes are part of Tinker's construct, and they're added in by, uh, yeah, they're, they're another mob. Uh, He's going to end up shooting me, isn't he? Ah. But that's, uh, that's slightly terrifying, although he's just killed a slime for me. This is probably going to be suicide. Screw you. Skeleton. Oh, they've become so OP. Die, die. Yes. Kill them all. <laughs> Fatality. But yeah, I'm going to go get... What the? How the bloody hell did he get up there? Oh no! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. That's GG. No, let's. Right, I'm gonna get inside and I'm gonna heal up. He. He can do whatever he wants to do. I'm 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 a human pincushion. This is not going well for me. This is not a great first night for me. Uh, I'm gonna make some charcoal so I can get some torches. And he's back in it. Oh my lord! <laughs> They're everywhere. Why are they trying to kill me? I mean them no harm, and now I can't get back in. God damn it! Well, actually, I've got enough to make a bed, haven't I? Right, I'm going to sleep through this so everything can stop blowing my house up, well, my temporary house. Oh my god, this is terrible. This is a terrible start to a probably they can't rest now. There is monsters nearby. Of course there are. Uh, there's a zombie outside. Right, let's let's sort this out. What's going on here? It killed something because I just got some XP. All right, let's cover that up. Uh, blew a huge hole in the uh, wall. Ran out of that stuff. Right, I've got, I've I've got, I've got food, so I'm gonna make myself some charcoal. I really need some bloody cobblestone. And I'm also trying my hardest not to swear. I mean, I'd, I'd, I don't... I'm not going to say I like swearing, like it's not it's not a hobby of mine. I, I don't swear on the thing. But it is a good way to release frustration. But 
I'll probably replace them with words like frick or farfanugan, that was from Russell Howard. Uh, right, 20 cobblestone, I have enough. Right, I'm going to go get myself situated here. Uh, see how long I've been running for, probably do some mining and then I shall be back. Right guys, I'm back and I've just thought before I start any major mining or whatever uh, I'm going to show you the basics of Tinker's Construct because I've been I've just been making these tools, the stone axe and the stone shovel and I was like why am I making these in in such an old fashioned way, I'm going to say I'm going to say it's old fashioned because it is old fashioned if you have Tinker's Construct because that will take over your whole entire crafting uh, life uh, so I'm just going to whack these in the chest and uh, I'm, I'm going to read to you. So this is the first book that you spawn in with from, uh, it's actually part of the Tinker's Construct and it says Getting Started in Recipes. Uh, welcome to the first edition of Materials and Use, surviving the first day and beyond. Within these pages you will find the first steps to making the tools and materials you need to survive. The book is a magic copy. It updates whenever the original has been modified. Check back occasionally for, inf for information on new things. So basically, when the mod creator adds new stuff to the book and to the mod to then get a new book to get the updates, it will automatically update it. So the first step in making tools is crafting a blank pattern. It is a blank state slate to stamp a shape into, providing a reference for future creations. The patterns are shaped on the stencil table or are used as table tops. Stencil table is very important. You can then shape a material in a part builder with 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 the pattern. Part builder once again that's one of the machines with the pattern. Then combine parts in the tool station, another machine or station tool thing. Patterns can be stored and accessed in the pattern chest, which is very good. Together, these make up the tool workshop. It is recommended you keep all of these nearby when using any of them. So this is how you create the blank patterns, and the blank patterns are then used to create uh, axe heads and pickaxe heads and, and swords and whatnot. Uh, the stencil table, I'm going to need to get some more logs because I've just burnt them all up in the... Uh, what's it called that uh, the thing the furnace yeah like I said it's like it's half two now and my mind just is not working uh, so the stencil table uh, that's what you use to and I realize I'm saying err a lot I do apologize for that but the stencil table is used to make the stencils so you can make pickaxe sets uh, part craft there is when you actually want to combine all the parts that you have just made from said stencil table and the pattern chest adds combines to the part craft there to uh, increase its storage and then you've got the tool station uh, I forgot what that is this comes later on this this the the seared bricks and these smelteries is a very it's it's a fantastic uh, addition to the game uh, in my honest opinion so I'm going to get some stuff I need to go get some wood so I'm going to go get some wood let's go punch a few trees or chop a few trees since I have an axe whatever I, I, don't, I don't care I do what I want yeah South Park Right, let's go back over to my temporary village home. I may come back here, I don't know. Uh, let's go into my house. And let's create... So, for the stencil, blank pattern is two sticks and two planks. And these can be crafted in there, which is fantastic. And then we'll have the stencil table or part builder rather although it's just said stencil table there oh I, I never knew that it uses the uh, what is the thing that is, that is really nifty uh, my game stuttered them for a moment so why we need another one of these so I'm going to need more planks. Why did I do that? Let's just make a load of... I say load, but I can only make two. 
Which is all we need. Stencil table and that that is really nifty. I, I did not know that. Uh, these are mixed up then. A vast, A vast virus, virus database, database has been updated. updated. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so yeah, these have been mixed up. Uh, it's probably a bug once again and a pattern chest so let's make a chest F yeah right and then we need a pattern builder Pat part crafter so so have I got everything part builder stencil table materials in you right let's place these down so part builder let's check that yeah right pattern chest goes next to that and as you can see it now has an inventory uh, the stencil table goes there and what else did we need what else is in this book stencil table part crafter pattern chest tool station that was it uh, so we need more of these Bam, like that, like that, bam. We'll make another one. We need a lot of wood. So that goes like that. And tool station. Fantastic. And this is what you use to upgrade and repair your tools. This is what you m use to make the patterns for your tool so you'd put a blank pattern in there and as you can see there's nothing there and then you click next pattern pickaxe head shovel head axe head sword blade and talking about the swords they add I think it's three new swords uh, yes three new swords well you've got the original sword let me turn any eye off you've got the broadsword which is just your original sword the long sword and the uh, rapier and I do I do like the rapier it is great for taking out creepers because it has a fantastic ability so when you right click on it instead of guarding it will backpedal you which means you'll jump back I think it's one and a half blocks and also charge boost quick strike and armor pierce so let's go about making a pickaxe head so once we click this it'll get rid of the blank pattern and then we would put that in there and then we would put whatever material we want to make it out of so we'll go stone pickaxe head now to make the other parts we need a stick like thing I think it's just called a rod and we also need a binding and these bindings can be made out of any material you can find in the game well any any that's uh, in this book so this will tell you what materials you can make so to make a pickaxe you need pickaxe head, tool rod and a tool binding shovel is just shovel head, tool rod, axe head, tool rod mattock which is a sword, shovel and a hoe in one I think it's a hoe uh, effective and plants, yep so it's a hoe as well and these here are your swords and these these are like little funny attack things and here are your materials so you can make anything using wood stone iron flint cactus bone obsidian lumite which is a ore added by which is a metal added by the mod netherrack blue slime green slime which you obviously get from the uh, slimes uh, slimy mud this is how you make the slime crystals uh, you can even make a paper pickaxe cobalt which is a added ore which you can find in never same as ardite uh, manilion man manilion or whatever that is uh, that is made from combining a certain amount of uh, different I think it's combining cobalt ardite and lumite together to get manilion uh, copper bronze steel and then you can also upgrade the stuff so that we'll 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 learn about that in a different episode because I'm I'm I think I'm running over time here. So but I just want to show you the fundamentals of the tool station. 
So how much? Yeah, we've got plenty of cobblestone. So I'm going to make more blank patterns. Uh, so we'll go like that actually. We'll harvest that stack. So we have six blank patterns. So let's go stencil table. All right, we need. We'll make a shovel head, an axe head, a sword blade. Uh, these are for your swords. So let's make a crossbar, an binding, not a pan, and a tool rod. So let's stick all these in this chest, and let's continue making this stone pickaxe. Uh, these tool rods use 0.5 of a material so you'd get these stone, stone shards or if you're losing, using diamond or gold or iron you'd get uh, iron chunks so there's a stone rod and then we can use this to then create the tool binding because the tool binding is only 0.5 material as well and then we go over to the tool station click the pickaxe sign and then we create the stone pickaxe and it is stone pound uh, let's see what properties it has wrong one right, stone durability modifier durability 1.5 dur full tool durability so if you use a stone handle it will half your durability of the stone uh, of the normal stone pickaxe uh, mining level mining speed 4.0 mining aspect level 1.0 I have no idea what that is but uh, let's just demonstrate what this is so let's go down here I also have torches I've come somewhat prepared why do I have a pressure plate uh, I'm also going to turn on nope not mini maps Oh, options, any art, no. Highlight tips hidden. There we go. And I need to move the minimap. Minimap options, map position, lower right. Uh, I just prefer playing like this so when I see an ore that I don't know much about, I'll be like, I can just hover over and say, hmm, that's uh, uh, aluminium ore or aluminium ore for you Americans out there. So this is basically the fundamentals of. Tinker's Construct. I may do a mod spotlight on it because I, I am quite fond of this mod. Uh, so probably stay tuned for that but I think I'm running over on time now and I need to get this edited and rendered. So uh, I'll, I'll do some mining tomorrow and come back tomorrow. Uh, this has been Honey Badger 1 for Honey Badger 1. You idiot. This has been Honey Badger for my first modded let's play on this channel thank you for watching TTFM, ta ta for now